What's up guys, it's your boy Ken here and yeah, I just caught up this afternoon. Um you know the routine. We did the routine when we got off from work. We ate the little egg and bacon. I just ate it actually just now. It's in the afternoon. Um tomorrow we're gonna try to reset our sleep cycle. I'm a bit sore right now. And since I'm sore. I'm going to hit some magnesium oil on my tendon areas. I'm kind of almost tender everywhere. I'm tender all over my back. I'm tender in my arms and my stomach. Um, so I'm kind of sore right now. This week workout has been a bit more intense than last week or the weeks prior. So it's been a bit more challenging. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, we got to go hit the workout. You got to be kind of fast today. Because uh, I think D has prayer for six. She might be a little late, but seven. seven. But we gotta get it. We gotta get it done. Um, I did not been all right. Um, yeah. So um, and plus your know, magnesium oil. Since it's an oil, it should help with our skin because we kind of, you know, not always get when. And the temperature drop, you know. Ashi. Hey, watch yourself, girl. I'm call black people Ashi. Wrong with you? Hello, family. We are on the walk. Um, what could I say? Today we have a little small talk about relationships, right? Yeah. Decided. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is our most commonly Ask question about me and you. No, about relationships, just in general. Commonly asked questions. Um, I guess how do you know when to take the relationship to the next level, or if the person is the one? Um, also, like dealing with certain dramas. <laughs> okay. I know that people. To get our opinion on okay this happened what you think i should have do or i should have done that or you know yeah That's all right thing. so first question was <laughs> how do you know when to take the relationship to the next level guys they always say this when you date me or whatever make the relationship as selfish as possible the sound funny i know it sound weird right but too quickly, people just make the relationship about another person. You know, you start investing everything inside the other person. What they care about, what they fear for. No. No, no, no. Pick what you like. You know? Pick the person that you like. Look for qualities that you like. Make the relationship about yourself. So, when you ready for the relationship to be the next level, you bring it up. You all just so was, simple. If you all just was talking, you like, hey, because you probably was dating, right? Because this is the only point in time when you was be a bit nervous, right? You be nervous when you dating, but you don't know if the person ready to be out that dating phase and be into a, like a committed relationship, right? right. Cool. All right. So that's answer. You bring it up. If the person ain't ready to be in a committed relationship. You say, okay, good. Move on with someone else. <laughs> and they can miss this opportunity. Uh, <laughs> the prize, boy. He missed the prize. I don't remember that Hawaiian punch guy looking like that. Oh, my God. Mandela effects. Get it under control. <laughs> right? So, let's say you, you engage. And you... Ready to get married? Now you ready to get married? Now remember now, especially if it's the woman, you don't decide that. Let the man pick, you know. Let the man. Proposing man. No, give him some time. Two, you need to ask yourself some questions. You understand? Because a lot of people like always know you're all ready to get married. Ask yourself some questions. You all got money? <laughs> I got marriage money? That's that's a serious thing. Don't just go in the marriage broke. Do you all have money? <laughs> I mean, do two of y'all are y'all working? Do y'all have jobs? Yeah. You understand? I do it. Might not. All in debt. Right. 
Dude might not be proposing you or might not want to get married right at this particular time because financially you're only just sitting there. Right. Real. That's a real, real. Are you all living with his parents? <laughs> Look at the ideal situations like what's surrounding you. You're only in your own home with a bank account full of money and the nigga just like, nah, I'm marrying you. <laughs> Man. Look at the key, core reasons yeah. are things what are wrong and see how you could change those things. Are you all mad? <laughs> Is the relationship really going well? You gotta understand, it's a lot of pressure on the dude. You gotta get a ring. He trying to, he gotta prepare something would look nice. You gotta find out who your friend is and fight them over and whatever, because you want a big proposal or whatever, right? Despite or, popular belief, a lot of women say that they don't want that public proposal. They want a little intimate, one-on-one -on -one something. Y'all uh, He got to set that up. Y'all who watching. Look he ain't even the romantic type. And he got to set that up. That's a lot. Chill. Get to do it this time. You make it happen. And know that you being stationary in that particular position is not a problem. Right. Right? That's not a failed relationship. Because you didn't jump to marriage as soon as someone else. We talked about that the other day. Yeah. About stand still doesn't mean failure. Yeah. Right? Okay, so and about dealing with issues or whatever, you deal with them as they come. You deal with them. You go out with learning experience, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody gotta learn about effective communication, right? Yeah. Effective communication ain't just rowing. Say rowing is yeah. rowing is effective communication? Sometimes it could be. How? Oh. Um, is that outlet? No. It's help convey how you feel if I just say everything calm if I say everything calm sometimes you might not think I passionate about it okay. right? sometimes not all the time and you should try to avoid it right but you need to effectively calmly state what you want what's the change that you want to see you understand what the problem was why you felt like you felt that way Son, hey, people, silence is communication too. I actually came across a video where they said that if you and your spouse is having a heated argument where it's really about to get extreme, that you go in the room, you take off all your clothes, and you talk naked. Somehow I agree with this. Is <laughs> they're saying that, that that is like a vulnerable this that is take away the yeah. I guess the seriousness of what is being said and more focus on right being Together. calm and humble and, and unity you know. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh um yeah but effective communication you need to effectively and clearly state what you say and don't people do not exhaust your points. State them. Because guess what? Even if the person ain't listening to you right now, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the person ain't listening to you right now, later down, after the argument, they can regurgitate the conversation over and over. And they can hear what you say. Hopefully. So, state what you need to state. And that dude being quiet, he's communicating. Yep. My phone about to die. So, yeah. hands our relationship talk. <laughs> God knows the season of love.
Wow. I just talked a whole video and I did not press record. Right? So I just got home and basically I got a meal prepping. So I got a cauliflower. This is the cauliflower. And all we do is just the bottom of the cauliflower. All we do is turn it upside down, cut off one of these stems, and then uh, it comes out in the big pieces. And then what we do is we break down those little pieces into little things that we want, into little, like, I don't know what they call them. So we want, so we're going to make some broccoli um, and cheese. I'm going to show you guys the part. So yeah, that's the part. I'm gonna I gotta salt and butter the water. And then we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make it even I think I might have showed this already. I'm gonna show you how to make it even better this time. So this is our cheese sauce this time. Uh, I season it a little bit better. I think this this go around. Uh, a little bit of parsley, oregano, some turmeric, salt, black pepper. I think I get a better seasoning on it but being finished I can show you so we add our cauliflower to it right add it to a baking pan then we're gonna cover this with cheese and then we can bake it